Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Janique TV. My name is Janique, and I'm so glad the Lord brought you over to my video today. Before you even get started watching this video, go ahead and click the like button on your way in. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of what I'm doing here. If you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate your support so much. We have gym talk right now that's about to go on. I'm so glad you tuned in. Not only is this workout going to be physical, but it's also mental, so stay tuned. All right, so let's hop into this workout. This is not a tutorial. I'll be talking and pointing out some stuff in my workout while I talk to you guys today, but this is not, again, a tutorial. Normally, I start off my workout with a run, though, but um, I didn't want to sweat my hair out this day because I needed it to be fresh. <laughs> um, but right now, I'm actually working out at, I think right now it's like 6.30 a.m. in this video. Um, I think I was up like an hour before this anyway, but um, I just made it in the gym for real. I appreciate my progress because sometimes life throws so many distractions at you that you could forget what you're doing it for, or you just kind of don't pay attention to the things you're doing and you're just moving on autopilot and it feels good to be able to slow down and not have to deal with a bunch of people right now. That way I'm able to focus on myself and everything that I want to do and working out as a part of that. Besides that, I want to get into uh, what I wanted to talk about today, guys. Um, God is so intentional and he'll move you. He'll shake up your foundation, your environment. You know, he puts you through things that you never think you'll be put through. All good things essentially are from God, right? But the bad things God uses for our good. Anything that's bad that happens to us, it's ultimately going to work for our good because it's all a part of God's plan. God knows when bad things are going to happen to us, even though he's not the creator of them, but he is the creator. The devil is the creator of chaos. The devil is a, the creator of the confusion and everything like that. So God is gonna use whatever that's bad is happening to us he's going to use it for our good because he knows storms will come there's a story in the bible about jesus being asleep during the storm that was happening on the boat and the disciples panicking and you know trying to wake jesus up and telling him like they're they think they're going to drown they were panicking instead of staying calm throughout the storm right because jesus being asleep on the boat is really like a metaphor for you think God is silent during your trial. You think God is silent when negative things are happening in your life or crazy things are happening in your life or you're going through a lot. You think God is silent, but God is still there with you, right? He's resting right now because he's just seeing if you have faith that this is going to ultimately work for your good. So I say all that to say, God is intentional and anything that you go through you go through for a reason for example say you became homeless you have all these people around you all these friends all this family all these people who leech off you constantly when when they need something from you you're there for them let me not even call them leeches but when when they need something you coming through right now when you become homeless or you in danger of getting evicted, you go around to all these people you have asked or you have helped out in the past and they don't have anything for you, right? Boom, you get evicted. You can't believe it. And now you have nowhere to go. So you have to live in your car for a couple weeks. You have to really get on it. You have to, you know, go stay at a shelter. There's just certain things that you have to go through or go do as well in order to maintain during this period of your life right you think you became homeless because you did something wrong but no 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 that was your trial god did that for you to show you that the people that you were overextending yourself to the people who you were doing the most for the people who you do anything for those people would not do the same for you and he had to show it to you because you would have never believed it any other way okay so just follow me where i'm going with this right <laughs> i love being alone i'm not gonna lie i love being alone because that's how god had to show me something 
I didn't become homeless or anything. It wasn't. He didn't have to do all that to show me what was going on. <laughs> he didn't have to do all that. Some people need a more drastic reminder or something big to happen to them for them to see it. And I'm, I'm the same way. Just not in regards to overextending myself to people. But sometimes you do need something huge to come and shake up your environment for you to see the people around you. That's the only way things reveal themselves through situations, through experiences, through words. That's how things reveal themselves. So God is the revealer of all things. Okay. I love being in a gym by myself because that reinforces my belief that you need to be alone right now. This is a year of you being alone. If you took a break from social media with me this year, I hope you're doing okay. It's not that bad, is it? <laughs> I hope you're making it. I hope you're pushing through. We a week into the new year right now, for real. And this is when you realize whether or not your New Year's resolutions were really resolutions or if they were, you know, if you were just talking, right? You just, you realize after a week, you'd be like, okay, I was playing. I was playing, but good news is it's not too late to start over. It's never too late to start over. So let me get back to, to how God is intentional and he will He will move some stuff in your environment. Move some things, right? Use that to really show you who's around you before he blesses you, before he puts you where he wants you to be at or the road that you're supposed to be on. When you meet people, it's so interesting how people all have a part or a role in your life. Even though people, even people you don't like, like your enemies, like they were literally born to be your haters. Yes, they were born to be your haters. If they were not haters, then they would never been born. You are the whole reason for their existence, okay? I promise you, the reason for their existence, they don't have nothing going on but to hate on you, but to worry about what you're doing. So everybody has their role in, in your life, right? We are meant to help each other grow. We are meant to help each other go on to the next level or to stay stagnant or to regress back into a previous level that th that you were in or that they were in but it's up to you to keep pushing it's up to you to keep going it's up to you it's up to you to not let anybody have enough power over you to stop you from moving forward it doesn't matter if you don't have their support or their help in your time of need there's always another way God will make it so you don't need anybody else to get out of the jam that you're in. He will make it so you can get out of that by yourself. He sure will. I'm a living witness. Look, it's so interesting how we give people control in our lives. We give them a big hand. So when they leave and they walk out on us, they think that we can't do anything without them. I took a leadership class in, in high school. And I'll never forget my teacher saying something to me about allowing people to have control over your actions, emotions, energy, reactions, just anything, anything that has to do with you, not allowing that person to have control over you. She asked me like, are you a remote control? I said, you know what? No, I, I'm actually not a remote control. I'm a human being. And from that day forward, it stuck with me. I'm not letting anybody be able to press my buttons. Sometimes you can't control yourself. And sometimes you got to let people know about themselves in the name of Jesus. But most of the time, right? Most of the time, you cannot allow anyone to treat you like a remote control. You don't allow people to press your buttons. You don't allow people to change your channel. You know, make you act a different way, make you come out of character, make you revert into the person that you used to be, because that's all people try to do to you 24 seven. When they backstab you, when they leave you, when they betray you, when they try you, when they try to make you upset or get you out of your frequency that you that they see you vibing on you. They see you vibing on your own frequency. They try to get you out of that. They literally they literally are pressing your buttons. They're literally trying to treat you like a remote control, trying to make you jump, trying to make you curse them out and do things. And I had to realize that. And this year is so important to me to not let anybody else have a, have control over what I'm doing. I don't even want to allow anybody to have that much of my energy where they can control me or do anything like that. Because if somebody can't control you, that means they have way too much of your energy. My energy is reserved for me. I don't have no more energy for nobody else none because at the end of the day nobody has energy for you you know it's really important to maintain healthy boundaries with people i realize 
I realize that now more than ever because if you don't create those healthy boundaries with people up front, then they'll run all over you. They'll impose all kind of ways in your life and it'll be hard to get rid of them. Let's be for real. A lot of people in your life, you need to go ahead and kick to the curb. You should have left them in 2021, but you didn't listen to my last video, obviously. So you've got them right beside you. They're probably sitting beside you right now. You got your headphones in, listen to what I'm talking about. And they don't know what's going on. They don't have a clue. It's time for you to go in the kitchen, grab the scissors out the drawer, and cut them off. I'm telling you, like, get your energy back this year. If you don't do nothing else, get your energy right this year as well. So right now, I'm about to take a 10-minute run, you know, the first five or six minutes I keep it on one speed and for the last few minutes I go ahead and speed it up. I used to think running was so challenging until I realized it was all mental. Everything is mental, nothing is physical. You tell your body what to do, boom, it happens. You get up, tell yourself to run, just get up, just do it. I can't not do it anymore. I remember not being able to do it and thinking, it's kind of easier said than done, ain't it? But no, it's really, it's really mental. You just tell yourself to run and you'll keep running. Just don't let yourself stop. Just don't think about that. But let me hop back into the word. So this year I made getting closer to God my top priority. It's the first thing on my list. Again, if you didn't watch that last video I dropped, go watch it. Okay. First thing I decided to do this year, get right with God. The way I'm getting right with God right now is I have a Bible plan I'm following. And right now it got me in the book of Job. And this is where my scripture is going to come from today. Because this, I read this today and this hit me hard. I'm like, wow. People think when when people don't help them out that it's... <laughs> It's for the person like, oh, that person tried to spend it on you like, oh, God didn't want me to give it to you right now. That's true, though. God didn't want you to give it to them because he want to show them that you ain't it. You ain't the person that they think you is. That's what he want to show them. So listen, God isolates you. God puts you into protective custody almost. He want to keep you alone. He want to keep you sacred protected you know what i'm saying pure he want to purify you oh i like that word that's the word i'm gonna use purify you so i'm coming today i'm gonna get into this verse a little early i still got a lot to um a lot of footage to cover i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i got a lot of footage to cover so i'll be going into some other stuff in the video but i want to get this bible verse out so job 19 verse 13 and job is talking about god right now he says he has alienated my family from me my acquaintances are completely estranged from me my relatives have gone away my closest friends have forgotten me my guests and my female servants count me a foreigner they look on me as a stranger i summon my servant but he does not answer though i beg him with my own mouth my breath is offensive to my wife. I am loathsome to my own family. Even the little boys scorn me. When I appear, they ridicule me. All my intimate friends detest me. Those I love have turned against me. I am nothing but skin and bones. I have escaped only by the skin of my teeth. Wow, 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 wow. Let's unpack this scripture because Job says some stuff in here right he said he has alienated my family from me god pulls you away from those people when job says that he has alienated he has alienated my family from me god pulls you away from the right people at the right time i promise you they can't go where you going right he said my relatives have gone away literally people abandon you in your time of need like they go ghosts they get out of here they turn into casper real quick my closest friends have forgotten me people you think you so click tight with you don't speak to them again when you going through something they don't check on you literally you tell them your problem and you never hear from them again right then they see you doing good and then all of a sudden they back on your line they back in your phone they back in your presence like people are so fake like that but i'm telling you god shows you this right he says i summon my servant but he does not answer me people who look up to you people who do anything anything you ask at one point when you need something for real like they just kissing you behind 24 7 when you need something for real they know where to be found for real they can't wait to do that for you they can't wait to do that to you they can't wait to turn their back when you need them people are i just hate that people are like that for real but this is the world we live in people people cannot wait to turn their back on you in your time of need i promise you and you do whatever for them and this is what they do 
He said, all my intimate friends detest me. People are secret enemies. They be looking you right in your face and they hate everything about you, everything you stand for. They hate even looking at you and they be smiling in your presence all day. They can't wait to leave you. But when they leave you, they can't wait to be back around you because they're obsessed with you because that's how people are that that come around you but they hate your guts they're obsessed they're weird and if you're listening and you're one of these people you need help okay (laughs) you need jesus okay this is what really hit me though this last verse job said i am nothing but skin and bones i have escaped only by the skin of my teeth when we get out of these relationships with our family members our friends our significant others or let's say ex-significant others past lovers when we get out of those relationships we are barely whole we don't have nothing left sometimes we got to literally build ourselves all back up instead of just paying attention when god removes the people from your life the first time this is what he got me saying tonight y'all like for real I had a whole other recording recorded for this video and and God told me to go back and do it again because this is what he's trying to say. When things happen to you, they're happening for you to see and take inventory of who is around you so you can start cutting. If If your blessings are being blocked, I promise you it's because you have some people around you that have to go. Okay, you cannot be attached to somebody who has built up so much karma from the things that they've done in their lifetime that they have not repented for that you think you finna sit there and and get blessing on blessing on blessing when you're attached to them at the hip. Like, no, you're getting hit by karma. You get secondhand karma from them. You have to pay attention and be aware to this. God is saying today for real cut them off it's a week into the new year and you're falling back into the same habits same patterns that you were in in previous years and they have gotten you nowhere they have gotten you nowhere it's time to be a new creation in christ my run is almost over so i ain't really gonna talk too much i just want you to really sit and ponder on that verse that i really just gave you guys when when god highlighted that verse to me i was like wow you really get us alone that's how god likes you okay That's how God likes you, completely isolated and by yourself so he can work with you. You can't hear from God every day and you got a bunch of people in your ear who won't even help you in your time of need. Now, the person who I put first and center in my life is the person who's there for me when nobody else is. And that's God. He's there. He's his love for me is unconditional. He constantly pulls me back up when I let myself down again like for for me my love for God is so real it burns throughout me that's why I have to get on here and give this verse to somebody else who it may help out I hope you got something from this video today I'm gonna do a little power walk for the rest of the video for real I hope you stay with me if you don't understand anything I said you need to go back and listen again okay recognize who you're listening to I love you so much God loves you. I'm so glad you were able to tune into this video today. There's something bigger that's about to happen in your life. And it's time to take control of what your reality is. Take control of what you created for your reality and make adjustments as necessary. Okay. Again, my name is Janique. This is Janique TV. And I'll talk to you in the next episode.